Hey, come on, come on, guys. We want to watch the sunset. Whoa. Since when you so romantic? Hey, out to see we go. Drop the anchor. Hey, virgins, beware. Oh, you're still a virgin. Whoa. Yeah? Virgin? Yeah. Come, I'll give you my yeah. virgin. Come over here. Hey, I'm going to come over here. You're asking me where the sun don't shine. Come here. I'm going to get you here. Oh, you're so angry. Come on. 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 Come You don't remember what you do with a can of gas. How do we get back to the shore? We spin the tank? Fuck you! It wasn't my fault you left me on the beach! God damn it, Spooky. Bobby, you're such a dork. Every time we're out with you guys, it finishes in a bad way. Crank the sucker. Yeah, but nobody complained until the motor went dead. <laughs> we're all alone out here, and we're lost. Hey, this is no time to panic. Here, honey, hold this. Well, the shore's that way. Hey guys, we're tired. Beat. Hey, speak for yourself. I can keep it up all night. <laughs> I just knew this was going to happen. What? You haven't even seen what it if yet. We're attacked by a shark. That only happens in the movie. What if there's a storm, Dorothy? Storms don't happen during the summer. Guys, I'm worn out. I got an idea. I'll lighten the load. Why don't you toss Margaret? Sweet 
Jesus, I hope the waves don't get any higher. Oh. It's only a summer storm. It should end soon. Right, now you're a goddamn wedding. What are you complaining about? At least you'll have stories to tell your children. If I live through this shit. I hit something! I can't free the paddle! Take the damn thing. Believe this. Anybody here? What do we do? Since we got this far, let's go in. Studying. 
Hey, where the hell is everybody? Hey, guys, check this out. It's a lab to study marine life. It's an oceanographic research ship. What a weird fish. They must have caught them with a diving bell. Certain fish you can only get way down deep. Well, are they dead? Of course. They're preserved in a special liquid, so they can be studied later. <laughs> One of them wasn't dead. How do you know? Look over here. So the wave knocked the vase under the floor. Big deal. Maybe one of them suddenly came to life. Do we just all? Stupid idiot! Don't listen to him after what we've been through. He still wants to kid around. Stay here. Don't touch anything and nothing will happen to you. We'll be right back. What are you looking at those disgusting creatures for? But Dorothy, they're only fish. They frighten me. They have an evil expression. this. There's nobody in the pilot house. Weird shit. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Terrific. That's all we needed. We're stuck in the middle of the ocean. It's storming. And we're on a ghost ship. Yep. Jeez, a yacht like this, abandoned on the high seas. I can't believe it. Let's go down. All right. Hey, you guys, what's happening up there? Nada. Well? Huh? Well, nothing. There's no one in the pilot house. We can call for help by radio. The radio is busted. They must have left by lifeboat. No way. Uh, maybe the motor's busted. Uh-uh. Couldn't Come be. On. They went away leaving all the lights on? Well, I don't know. Maybe they're expecting dinner guests. <laughs> wow. Home and garden. This Beat the hell out of the dinghy. Wow. Oh. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Oh. Hey, check out that unit. This is strange. Something's going oh. on. Look, aquatic bonsai. Oh. Whoa, terrific. I always dreamed oh. about a yacht like this. Yeah. I could definitely hang here for a while. The kitchen. It's empty. Come on. No way. If they're not in the cabins, they're nowhere. Hey! This cabin's empty. Yeah, so is this one. Hi, I'm Jessica Rowland. <laughs> I give good time. What the hell is that? Cutie time. Ah! <gasps> Bobby! Bobby, what is it? Just a joke. Idiot. You know, really touching. Why don't you quit it, huh? Can't believe you people have no sense of humor. <laughs> In this hole, you scare me to death. <laughs> Look, it's full of clothes. Hey, what size? For men. 
I don't like the situation. It's party time. You know, if a force to spend the night, it's a good idea. Hey. Hey, look at this. These guys are loaded. Wow. Billy Nicholson. The guy's a chemist. I think it's time to buy a new bra. This must be the wives of one of his sailors. I was just thinking, that man we saw in the water, could he have been one of the crew? He could have been the owner of these shoes. What were they doing to this fish? It really looks like an operating table. Operation function, total anesthesia. But this is all absurd. It's like in a hospital, when the doctors go out for a coffee break during an operation. This one is lit up too. There are images. What are those? They are some fish cells. Who knows where they went? Who? The chemists, of course. I bet this is an electronic microscope. How do you know? I studied biology in school. be a refrigerator. It looks like a hibernation cell. It's full of frozen fish. My brother runs a nautical maintenance company. It wouldn't cost much to change the yacht's registration number, paint over the name, and make a place to party in this lab. Huh? What do you think? You think you already own this place? The drug dealers just left the ship. You can tell by the days marked off on this calendar. And the man we saw in the water was knocked off by the gang. Drug dealers? What drug dealers? Bobby is convinced the yacht was used to refine drugs. Everything else on the yacht was to fool the Coast Guard. What do you think? The only thing that's certain is that we're safe. As for the rest of it, I don't know. There are some details which puzzle me. The man we saw in the water, who was part of the crew, was in pretty bad shape, almost as though he was eaten by piranha. But we all know piranha live in river water. And as for the lab, there might be a way to find out if it's true or not. We will check the computer. Yeah, but what do you know about computers? The one in the lab isn't like the toy you have at home. Well, I can try. I'm telling you, the stuff in the lab is drugs. Why don't you cook up something to eat? Okay. Well, seeing as your sister is busy with John Travolta, let you and me see what's in the fridge. I'm really not hungry. I think I'm coming down with a cold. After what we've been through, it's no wonder you don't have pneumonia.
They have enough supplies to last for weeks, whoever they were. There's even fish here. Everything is so fresh. The crew must have abandoned shift in some hurry, which is our good luck. Hey, and let's hope they don't come back. Here, fry the fish. I'll take care of the rest of it. only one fish left. All my life I've been alone. Oh, baby. But now I got something to hold on to, baby. Oh, baby. Don't worry, honey. For the rest of your life, it can stay that way. Oh, baby. I got something you can really sink your teeth in, oh, baby. Finally, I'm starved. between a blowjob and a ham sandwich? No? Hmm. No, give up. <laughs> you? Mm -hmm. Okay, what? Let's have dinner tonight, I'll show you. Great time on this yacht. We invite our friends, and at night, oh, what orgies. <laughs> Bring up, my friends. <laughs> Tonight we tango. <laughs> hey. You hear that? The sound came from below. What was it? It's only mice. No way. They gotta be giant mice to make that noise. Didn't you check it out below? Please, take a look below. Come on, Bobby. Oh. All right. There goes my sex life. Storm. I'll take a look over here. Just Anything on that shelf? Uh, wait a sec. Uh, oh, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I got some. I'll take a look with this. You wait here. Okay, but be careful. Hello? Anyone down here? <laughs> you see anything? Yeah. Giraffe's fucking. Get serious, Bobby. Bobby?
me. You find anything? Don't play games. I'm coming down. Please be careful. Bobby, if you're playing fucking games with me, I'm gonna kick your ass! Son of a bitch. Follow me. I'll show you what I found. Look, this stuff is gonna make us rich, goddammit! But are you sure it's drugs? If you really want to know, yes, I've tried everything in my life. You'll see. I'll fix myself a dose later. In fact, we'll all have some. That way the girls can really see what we're made of tonight. <laughs> I think you're nuts. I don't need that to make love. Just once. Look at this. Give me some light, man. What is this stuff? What kind of animals are these? They're horny ones. Come on, will you drop this shit? I wanna go get laid. Let's get out of here, man. Secret of the abyss. Unknown animals. Ichthyology. Interesting. Now, don't tell me you're gonna read that crap. What's wrong with reading it? Then I'm gonna take a look at the computer in the lab. You know, I'm not sure that your version is right. Okay, okay, to each his own. You take the keyboard, I'll take the broads. <laughs> You hear that? What was it? Let's take a look. Oh, Christ, Mike, there's a man here. I is he still alive? No, I don't think so. Who do you think he is? Whoever he is, I said leave <laughs> I think he's alive, look. Come on, Bobby. Let's take him up above. Okay, okay. Girls, look what we found. He's gotta be one of the crew. This guy's in really bad shape. Why does he stink? He must have peed in his pants. She's right. God, it's nauseating. Poor baby. Somebody change his diapers, will you? Calm down. We just want to help you. Oh my God, he's freaking out. God, he's one of the scientists. His name is Clark Dewison. 
And he's a chemist. Yeah, dumb chemist. Won't be able to tell us a damn thing until he comes to. And that could take weeks. What could have happened to him? It's a pain in the ass. Now we can forget the yacht. What's he trying to say? Let's toss him into the ocean. Oh, he's kidding around, aren't you? I think he's serious. Ow! He bit me! Don't you get it? So obvious. Hmm. They didn't need the chemist anymore. They gave him an overdose and left him to die on the ship. He's not dying. All he needs is some rest. We all do. I suggest you all go to sleep. I'm going to take a look in the lab. Boy, you guys are weird. It's 9 o'clock. Oh, no, darling. This room only has two beds. So what? You and me only need one bed. <laughs> no deal. <laughs> this room is reserved for girls only. Oh. Don't do that to me! Don't leave me alone out here all night. I'm afraid. Julie. Oh, 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 Julie, the fish was bad. Oh. Lullaby nightmare. It wasn't a nightmare, you dumb jerk. Go to the bathroom and see for yourself if you don't believe me. All right, all right, calm down. Go take a look. Hi, sailor. Shut the fuck up. It's two o'clock. Hey, honey, I prefer it with tits. Do you want it hot or cool? Fast or slow? Soft or hard? Try me. I'm Susie. I wash, I tickle, I massage, I'm yours. All I can see is the vomit. I told you. I want to scare her the night. Gives her nightmares. 
She dreamed about those little monsters in the lab. There, baby, there. Well, what happened? Uh, well, y you see... See what? Nothing. Only vomit. No, it's not true! Take me away from here! Take me away or else! Uh, and I don't give a damn about the weather. Uh, uh, all right, all right. Uh, I'll take you away. Just calm down. Uh, uh, uh. with your sister. If she wakes, call me. find out what happened here. Something is really wrong. The lifeboat has a hole in it, made by an axe. And there's a professor's shirt in it. What are you planning on doing? I want to find out what they were researching on this ship. We're stuck here for the night anyway. Good, it works. Index. Marine biology. The cellular system. Marine vegetation. Margaret, this stuff is way out there. It's way over my head. It's like wild stuff. Ah! I must have stepped on something soft. I don't see anything. Hey, Mike, look at this. What the hell is it? I accidentally touched this lever. I get it now. This is a control console for a distant telecamera. Where are they? I believe they're in a bell at the bottom of the sea, along with the rest of the crew. It's attached by cables to a crane. I have the feeling that the secret of this ship 
is somehow tied to these strange fish. They found fish thought to be extinct. God, their work was amazing. Dozens of different species. I mean, thousands of years old. Thousands. My God. Slow massage up and down in central strokes. This is a real scientific lab, not the kind Bobby thinks. A lab to refine drugs. These fish belong to a group called Crossoptepricogen. Until today, they were only known as fossils, dating from the Devonian and Carboniferous period. These fish are true living fossils. Undersided, striated, furrowed, or the structure is raised. They're carnivorous and live on plankton, and they have mobile eyes and a wide field of vision. They also live out of water. Carnivorous fish that live out of water. Do you know what that means? Sounds like Margaret. They're in the lab. Let's go. Damn it! Damn it! Oh my God! Here, I'll take care of it. Go below and I'll join you soon. What the hell is going on? You still don't get it, do you? How did it go? Bobby, shut the door. I don't want it out of here. You're trying to convince me that one of those fish that belongs in a museum bit Margaret, huh? What's that? Fuck! The fish, you idiot! are different than the others. Damn it! Be careful, body. Bobby, see it? No. But it's here.
It's over, Mike. It's over. I'm not sure. I keep wondering where that animal is that's missing from its container. Uh, what do you care? The important thing is that we killed those monsters. Margaret, damn, I forgot! whole other state of mind. I wonder what happened to these people. The rapture of the deep. Bizarre. God. Freud would probably have a field day. fish Kleptomania slesogic are endowed with exceptionally developed genitalia in the erogenous zone. That is, at great depths, nectopedes, given the absence of the female, are carnivorous and gay. This is weird shit. The name Plankton includes both 
vegetable, mineral, and animal organism that live in the water. They're preferring jacuzzis and they're transported by full-stretched limo currents. Plankton, the prime source of food for fish, but above all, for the crustacean, mollusks, medusas, salpa, etc. Professor, how long have you been fucking fish? <coughs> they were old enough. No, I want to help. Old enough. Uh, no. uh, I understand. Uh, These things happen. I knew you'd come sooner or later. Shh. These chicks just can't resist the big guy. You were bragging so much. You worried about my virginity? So, what are you worried about? You're so wrong. I'm not worried about anything. There's sheep in my flock, and you can't escape me. Fuck you. Now you're talking. You bastard, let me out. Give me the key. Which one? This one? Mm. <laughs> 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 uh. Mutated species, the androgynous hemidiphidae, though harmless and placid in its normal environment, has been known to become sexually aggressive when erotically stimulated by inquisitive minds. Plankton. Contaminated plankton. That's what's causing mutation. Professor Dewison, the man who is below. <gasps> Damn it, Margaret, you almost gave me a heart attack. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you. I woke up, didn't see you in your bunk. I was worried. Margaret, I want you to go below. It's not safe in here. No way. You stay, I stay. The fish are dead, right? You sure are stubborn. How's your neck? It burns a little. Better? Much. Oh, 
fire in my veins. Mm. Oh. 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 These fish went through a genetic mutation caused by the plankton. Plankton? What's that? Plankton is the major source of nutrient for fish. It was contaminated by radioactive waste dumped by a ship in this area. It contaminated the bottom of this part of the sea. Contaminated the plankton? Eaten by the fish. And so they became contaminated. That explains their strange properties. These fish are mutants, creatures which possess incredible strength and vitality. Like that damn fish that attacked you. Professor Dewison, after having fished them and put them under glass, thought they were dead. Evidently, one of them wasn't, and ended up killing the whole crew. Somehow it affected him. Here it is. After every discovery, the professor put them into the memory bank. It's horrendous. I'm sure it's not in one of the containers. This is the last animal recorded by the professor. You remember the broken container? You mean it was that thing who... I think so. And the most worrisome thing is that it's probably still on the ship. Well, why isn't the professor dead? I don't know. But he's lost his mind with sexual obsession. That substance Bobby thinks is a drug is life or dies plankton. Oh. 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 We got to tell him if he just touches the stuff, it's going to be deep shit. It'll be fatal. Due to radioactivity, the plankton was transformed into cancerous cells. And if it comes into contact with human cells, it develops with incredible speed. As soon as it stops raining, we'll get our rubber boat and leave. Tomorrow will be one year that we're engaged, and I certainly don't want to spend it here. Oh, damn. I didn't even buy you a present. Really? I'm glad. Why? Because you would have never guessed what kind of present you should have bought. Well, what kind? A wedding dress. A wedding dress? For what? To get married, right? I'm a month pregnant. Baby, that's great. Ah, that's great. Mike, I'm so glad you said that. I thought you'd be shocked. <sighs> Mike. Mike. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Fuck! Oh my god.
I'm gonna get it now. Where'd it go? Mike, God, be careful, Mike. Here. Wake up, Julie. She must have fainted. Julie! Julie, we have to go! Julie! Sleepy. Julie! You have to get dressed, understand? We have to go! No, Bobby, not again. Uh. Julie, I'll give you two minutes! Dorothy! Wake up! Why did you strip me? <sighs> You were making love to Bobby. What? If he laid one fin anywhere on me, I'll make him swallow one of the fish in the lap. We have to go! Ah! Ah! It's nothing. The door just fell off the closet. You say I'm the one who does dumb things. You could have killed me. <sighs> okay, guys. Let's hit the sack. You're upset. You know, I'm gonna go take a shower. I drain the old dragon. God. I'm losing my mind. I almost killed him. It was a hallucination before. Don't you remember what happened between you and Bobby? No, I was sleeping. Yeah, you have a strange way of sleeping, with your legs apart and no panties on. I have to drink something. It's midnight. It's midnight. I would be careful if I were you. Damn it. Won't stop raining tonight. I can't wait to get off this damn ship. What are we gonna do, Mike? I don't know. I have to relax a bit. I'm very, very confused. I'm Mike. I brought you something to drink. What are you doing? As soon as it gets light, we'll take you off the ship. Okay. I feel sorry for him. He's in such bad shape. I have some pains in my gut. Like it's boiling, bubbling. Do you have your period? No. Here, what could it be? Here it could be painful, but it's not the bubbling you described. 
But it's not the kind of pain you get when you have your period. I've had those. It's almost like something boiling, and I've never felt it before. <gasps> Mike, what is it? There's something back there. I don't see anything. Will you tell me what's wrong with both of you? You've been acting strange for some time. Maybe you're right. Let's rest a while. It'll be done in a couple of hours, and we'll get out of this. Sister's lucky being able to sleep so peacefully. I have to lie down. These pains are killing me. Do you have any problems? Hi. Home? Do you know what time it is? Mike, I'm going to the bathroom. I'll be right back. I'll leave the door open. I'll be back. <laughs> I'm not telling. Bobby, are you still in the bathroom? Hello. Please come in. Come on. Be seated. Come on. Place your ass down. Constipated. Press the vacuum button. Uh, uh, Come on. on. Oh, gee, malfunction. Don't you feel better now? Lighter, more relieved? The toilet tissue has malfunctioned. Come on, let's go to the cabin. Come on. What happened? We have to get out of here quick. But how? Take her to the salon. I'll get life jackets. If we stay here, we'll all die. Quick, put these on. The professor, too. I'll go wake Dorothy. Dorothy! Wake up! We have to go! I see. Wake up, Dorothy. We have to leave the ship. Mommy, hey! I'm hey! Dream. If we don't get out of here, it'll be your last dream. Oh, Wake up, please. Dorothy! Get up! Get up! Come on, Dorothy! <sighs>
You have no more sister! Hi, my name is Jessica. Jessica, it's 3 o'clock. No, it's 4. No, it's 1. Why did we have to go on this damn phone? I don't know what time I it is. I want my sister! Please, let's go! First, I have to do something. Something important. Destroy these monsters, or we'll all become like them. No! Please don't leave us alone! Here, use it if you have to. I'll be right back. No, please! I can't go and leave my sister Let's right go, here. Julie! Let's no. just go! No. Come on, we gotta go! Let's go! We gotta go now! Please, let's oh, go! Yeah, we gotta go! No! Julie! No, I can't make it!
blackout, malfunction, malfunction, electrical short, short, blackout, blackout. Margaret? It's Mike! We're going to leave. Where are you, Margaret? It's Mike! Margaret, where are you? It's Mike! My name is Mike Alton, and it's time we went. The ship is gonna blow up soon! Ah. I wanted to make sure nothing strange happened to you. Now that we know each other's names, get off the ship! Get off the ship! Stop screwing around! Evacuate! Danger! Danger! Come on, Professor. Danger! We're going. What happened? I don't know! Warn them, Mike. Warn Hurry up, or it'll be too late!
radioactive level beyond danger zone. Evacuate, Dr. Smith, Dr. Smith, ah! Fucking cruise I'll ever take! <laughs> 